Hi my loves, welcome back to the Star's Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I have comes in the form of a vision. In this vision, I saw all bills paid sign. The scripture comes from Matthew 2 and 6. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. So here's the message. Okay, so God is saying that for somebody, like, I just feel like for whoever this is for right now, you are feeling kind of um, like you're lost, like you're in limbo. And it's like you kind of have an idea of what you're supposed to do. Because this is God telling his people that this is what's going to happen through his prophet before it happened. So this is someone God has already told you what's going to happen. He already told you he was going to bless you. He already told you you were going to be married. He already told you you were going to have a house. He already told you you were going to be king. He already told you you were going to be queen. He already told you this, that, and the third. But he did not tell you the exact time. He didn't tell you who it involved. He didn't tell you exact details. But I just feel like I'm looking where it says, by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people, Israel. I, I just feel like God is saying, and all bills paid. God said, this is somebody like you sitting down and you trying to calculate how you going to be able to pay your light bill and your water bill and then you got to make sure you have some money saved up because what if this happened that happened and how i'm gonna take care of this how i'm gonna take care of that god said hush okay god said girl hush boy hush this is the obvious pay situation right here this is the obvious pay situation this is not the kind of situation where you're gonna be you know what i'm saying like this is this is the kind of situation where you know what i'm saying you're gonna be good God said, and you're going to be able to peacefully be good. It's not going to be a situation where you're going to be good and you're going to be stressed out while you're good. Nah, baby, you're going to be good and you're going to be good. And it's going to be like, like you're going to be able to put your feet up type good. And I just feel like for somebody, you keep thinking, what if this happened? What if that happened? God said, he want me to tell you. If he leads you to do something. And there is a situation where someone is supposed to reciprocate something. What am I talking about? Like if you um, help somebody with something and they're supposed to pay you back. Or if it's a situation where someone is supposed to, like you're marrying someone. They're supposed to be faithful. They're supposed to be true. They're supposed to be loyal. Y'all are supposed to work towards whatever goals y'all promised each other. Like, I, I just feel like God is saying, if they decide that they're going to renege on what they promised you, they don't have to deal with him. It, and like, it shouldn't be a situation where you should be hesitant to do what God tells you to. Because if anybody decides that they are going to step outside the lines of what God says is supposed to be happening and the way it's supposed to be happening, then they are going to have to deal with him. And sometimes we don't realize that that's what God wants. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it could be a situation where God is leading you to help somebody and you think it's yourself. Man, nah, every time I see them, they dress, they fly, they this, they that, they, it don't take a lot of money to look good. It don't. As somebody that loves shopping at a thrift store, and y'all know I do, I talk about it all the time. I'm not ashamed, you know what I'm saying? And I know back in the day when I was growing up, people would be ashamed to say they shopped at thrift stores. It's nothing wrong with it, okay? Wash them clothes, cleanse them clothes, baby, and keep it pushing. I'm serious because it's like, why not? I, like, I understand if you, you can't go in there and you buying stuff that's about to fall apart, then what's the point? You know, but if you're going to a place where they have really good quality stuff, then... <laughs> 
sometimes I go to thrift stores and see new stuff, you know, and I just feel like God is saying for whoever this is for, there is somebody that God, God told you to do. It's something he told you to do. And you feel like you keep thinking about the worst case scenario of what could happen. You are also thinking about things that have happened to you in your past. You know what I'm saying? Maybe God has asked you to help someone to obtain a goal or help someone um to like, uh, I, I, what I'm seeing is like somebody that would like, uh, either donate to a business or like um what is it called invest investing in someone and you have invested in someone and the person you invested in acted as if you didn't invest they didn't give you your money back you know what i'm saying and i just feel like it was just kind of like a muscle type thing where it was just like God said, if somebody do you like that, understand. God gonna deal with them. Like, let's be real. You know what I'm saying? I just I just feel like God said, let's be real here. If he leading you to do something, not like this is somebody, they don't have no intentions of doing you that way. If for whatever reason they decide to change their mind and do you that way, then that means that they gonna have to deal with God because they made the wrong choice. That was a test that came up for them. Regardless as to why it came up, it came up, they failed, and they don't have to deal with God. And that's just what it is. But I feel like God is saying that doesn't mean that it should stop you from doing what God tells you to do because you're also being tested. And I just feel like the craziest thing about every test that we come across is we don't know when we going to pass and when we going to lose. Because for some... To some people, you know, from your perspective, it could be like, oh, no, I don't want to, I don't want to help this person that I help them. And they don't, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they treat me as if I'm not the one that helped them. And they, you know what I'm saying? They dip off and they, I, I can't find them no more. And you know what I'm saying? What if it, you think in that way and then you don't help and then, you know what I'm saying? If you, you know, that it turned out they wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could go two ways. It could be a way where it turned out they wasn't even like that. It turned out you and this person end up together forever. They end up getting it on their own, and they still stay with you. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Male or female decide that they're going to spoil you, and they're going to this, and they're going to that, and they're going to this, that, and the third. And it's like it will eat you up inside because you could have helped and you didn't then simultaneously you know what i'm saying they could they they they, they could get themselves together and you know what i'm saying go off and go you know what i'm saying feel like they gonna do this that and the third but they will have to deal with the wrath of god you have to understand there's so many things that could happen like i just feel like when people when you do evil to people you are basically welcoming bad things to happen to you you welcome things like, you know, people trying to take from you. You welcome things like people trying to play you. You welcome things like people excluding you. You welcome things like bad energy. You welcome things like getting, um, you know what I'm saying, having problems and having issues. And regardless of what kind of issues, I just feel like once you, when you are doing people in a way that you're not supposed to, you're basically unlocking the door for bad things to begin to happen in your life and sometimes it can be confusing sometimes it can be confusing but that's why at any given time that you feel as if you have done something wrong you need to stop all conversation with everybody it don't matter who it is including me and go and speak to god and see what it is that you need to do Okay, and even if it's not you directly hearing God tell you exact directions, sometimes it could just be a thought coming to mind about your situation. You know what I'm saying? It could be a thought coming to mind reminding you, you know what I'm saying, about your situation. Like, let's say your ex is trying to get back with you, and a thought will come to mind that that person did you dirty. Why in the world would you get back with them? 
y'all not together no more maybe it's a situation where your ex is trying to guilt trip you talk about oh no just because we got divorced we still we still together because the bible said that you can't get divorced well hold on you gotta go get go to your quiet place uh, we heard what they got to say go to your quiet place grab your bible sit down chill relax and then allow god to remind you of how the bible says several times in multiple different scriptures multiple different books that god said the blood covenant of a marriage is not broken until someone decides to break it by laying down with another person therefore if someone decides to commit adultery they are now unclean and their spouse can choose to leave them and it's over it's broken in god's eyes there's no more marriage between them but I just feel like you have to be in a position to where you can actually think and properly, um, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like that's what it is. And I, I just feel like for God, God is saying for whoever this is for. Understand, it don't matter um, what happens in your life. You are going to eventually get to where God said you are going to be. Even if you take your time, even if you drag your feet, even if you know you make the wrong choice, you end up with the wrong person, you end up this, you end up that, you still going to end up where you need to go. I just feel like God is saying there's no need for you to ever be in a position to where you are feeling the need to panic or stress or worry god said all bills pay it don't matter like including everything even when it comes to somebody where you feel like uh god wants me to move all the way over there oh man dang it it's so far if i move all the way over there i ain't gonna have no friends i ain't gonna have no this i ain't gonna have no that god said all bills pay that means everything is included the same snacks you like, they got them over them. The same type of friends you would get along with, they got them over them. People that you could hang out with and relax with, yup. The person that you're supposed to marry, every the house that you're supposed to live, everything is already, God said, all bills paid. All bills paid. This somebody you gonna rule and it's gonna be all bills paid pay for you you ain't gonna have to pay for nothing like dang i don't know what this is for whoever like you gonna be it's like it's gonna be somebody you're gonna be in charge and then on top of you being in charge you ain't gonna have to pay for nothing you ain't gonna have to pay for food you ain't gonna have to pay for room and board you ain't gonna have to pay for nothing just kick your feet up and relax And you may be wondering, like, why would God allow me to have this here? God loves you, first of all. Second of all, this is somebody, you are a ruler. You were called to be a king or a queen. Now, in today's time, it don't have to be a situation where you are actually sitting on a throne somewhere. You don't have to physically walk around with a crown, a crown of jewels on your head all day, every day. But a king or a queen could be somebody that helps people. You never know who you are going to encounter when you go places. But God said, this is someone you're going to go places and you're going to lead people. This is someone that can lead people out of slavery. This is somebody that can lead people out of depression. This is somebody that can lead people out of uh, just, I just feel out of mourning, out of sadness, out of just being, just giving up. And because of the way you are and what you do and what your calling is and how well you are at your calling and how well you are at accepting your calling, answering your calling and actively putting forth effort to do what you're supposed to do. God said, not only are you going to, for out of you will come a ruler. Not only are you going to become the ruler that you were always intended to be. But then on top of that, everything that you do, all bills paid. And even if you watching this video right now, you thinking that I'm just talking, 
You don't know what's going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? God said one day you're going to look up and you're going to think about the different things that God sent you to do and how you didn't pay not one red cent. Mm. It's for somebody, somebody, this is somebody that is going to be like, you're not, this is someone that even if you personally are not a wealthy person and you have nothing to your name, you are going to live the life of someone who is rich. You will have things that will belong to a rich person, a wealthy person. And it's going to be because all bills pay. It's going to, like, this will be somebody, I'm thinking about how Joseph life was. Like, you, you going to meet somebody that you going to help them in such a way. Well, whatever your gift is, they going to buy you a house. Yeah. They're going to get sick and tired of coming to hear you interpret dreams and visions. And every time they come to you to hear about what's what's going on with their dreams and visions, you know what I'm saying? You got pots and pans all over the place because the ceiling crack. And you know what I'm saying? You complaining that you got to move here, you got to move there. You tired of bouncing back and forth. And you really would like to have your own. But, you know, you just tired and you can't afford this and you can't afford that. And they really just want to get the meaning to their dream. So they're going to go ahead and toss you some money so you can go ahead and get you a house and stop complaining to them. They don't want to hear about that no more. They want you to help them adequately. You can't help nobody. Like, I just feel like when you're working for God, so like when you're working for God and you can't work adequately when you are not, in a stable state. God said this is somebody not in a stable state. You can't do your job adequately like that. So God, you know what I'm saying? He will make sure that you have the adequate things that you need. I'm thinking about how, um, I'm being reminded of how some of the companies, they'll have like um, little towns for their business where they have like, a plant or uh, whatever kind of business it is. And they have houses, they have healthcare, uh, malls, they got shopping stores, grocery stores, etc., schools, parks, etc., etc. To ensure that, first of all, the employees are there. They First of all, they had a business that was in the middle of nowhere. They need employees. Okay, so and to ensure that the employees are there, they went ahead and built houses around it. But to ensure the employees stay, they built a shopping center. They built a mall. They built uh, grocery stores. They built activities for the kids to do, parks, schools, you know, recreational centers. I just feel like that is smart. This is like logically when you are thinking if you want someone to... um stick around and you know what I'm saying you gonna make sure they comfortable if you want somebody to do their best you're gonna ensure that they're in a position to do their best so I just feel like for whoever this is for to ensure that you do what God needs you to he gonna ensure that all your bills paid because it like and that's just what it is to ensure that you are doing what he needs you to he gonna ensure that you're not stressing about how you're gonna pay this that and the third he gonna ensure you're not stressing about how you gonna make it tomorrow how you gonna eat how you gonna this how you gonna that <clears throat> and i understand because i talked about this so many times to me so many times well your girl will be like, dang, I don't know what I'm going to eat today. Dang, I don't know about this. Dang, I don't know about that, baby. And I don't know well. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's tough out here. You know what I'm saying? It's tough. The, the world is not an easy place to live. Like, we, we literally have to figure out how to pay to stay the place that we were born. And it's... it's but anyway. That's the message. This is really a beautiful message, though. It's like God is saying that whoever this is for, um, you come, you being chosen to rule. Not only are you being chosen to rule, but all your bills going to be paid. God going to ensure that everything is paid. And it's like you right now in a position to where you are getting yourself together because you have to have these things. And God is providing these things for you. And God is showing you that he is going to ensure that these things are paid in full. It's not going to be a situation where you're going to be stressing about how you going, how you going, how you going. God said everything going to be paid in full. Mm -hmm. 
God not finna send you to nobody that's gonna be unloyal. God not finna send you to nobody that's gonna be fake. God, like, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like and that's just what it is. And sometimes we have to really have trust. We have to have faith. And, uh, yeah, that God will provide. God said he will provide. Anywho, that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.